time to get up. Right, it's time. <laughs> Give you a rest. What time is it? Hey, you come on, we're missing the best part of the day. Wakey, wakey! Simon. Chance of a fry up then. There's hundreds of miles of river out there. How are we going to find them, eh? You're the detective, you tell me. <laughs> Hello? Mum. No, no sign of it yet, Mum. How's Nonna? No change. Mm. All right, give her our love, wouldn't you? Yeah. We'll have to raise her back by tonight. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Getting our hopes up like that could take forever to find around here. Well, we'd better get a move on then, hadn't we? Here you go. Oh, cheers. Aren't the others ready yet? No, I'm still getting dressed. Matthew and Mary have volunteered to go to the shops. Oh, well, that'll be another hour wasted then. Simon's so still early and we need some food. Look, I'm sorry about all this. It's not exactly the way I planned it. What's the problem? Well, I wanted you and me to have some time together, you know. Simon, will you relax? Your friends are fine, and I'm enjoying myself. Morning. Morning. Matthew, do me a favour. So what else do we need? Uh, beer, chocolate, milk, bread, biscuits, cigarette papers. What are these cigarette papers for? Teresa wanted them. She doesn't smoke, does she? She asked for them. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Come on, then. See you in a bit. Morning. Right. Morning. Right, where are we going to take this thing, then? What's wrong with here? It's a nice spot. There's not much point hiring a boat if we're going to leave it moored in just one place. I agree. Morning. All right. Nice, isn't it? Perhaps miss my back, really. Yeah. So, uh, where do you fancy going then? Just drive up the river, see where we end up, I suppose. Sounds like a good plan to me. Well, there's loads of places we can visit. This thing's full of. How about a pub? I'll second that. All I want is a bit of sun and some peace and quiet. So, if you don't mind. All aboard! All aboard! The night train! What do you fancy doing tonight then? I don't know. Let's see what the others say. We don't have to go out with them if you don't want. It's more fun in a crowd. But all they're going to want to do is find a pub, get hammered and stagger back to the boat. Oh, what's wrong with that? Well, why don't you and me find a nice little restaurant, just the two of us, and then we meet them in the pub later if you uh, really want. What are you doing here? Well, not for me. Nothing is going to happen to us. You know that, don't you? Yeah, for Chris, he asked me to get him free. Because if you've got any ideas about this weekend, we might as well get the embarrassing rejection over with. Matthew, I like you. You're a friend. That's it. I'm flattering you. <sighs> can't you use connections? Get the local bobbies to help us. I can't ask them. Why not? It's a waste of their time. She's 18, she's not on the run. Yeah, but they'd do it for another couple, wouldn't they? I'm not asking them, and that's that. When I get hold of that Tony... Yeah, you won't lay a finger on him. You want to bet? You want to be up on an assault charge, do you? Nah, stop being PC plod for five minutes. This is our little sister. All we're going to do is find her and bring her home for Nonna. I just hope we're not too late. Oh, That's all we need. Whack, whack, whack. You know, it's rude to stare. I wasn't. Good looking, isn't she? Yeah, not that sort of thing. Uh, what are you doing? What people normally do on holiday? Taking pictures. Yeah, well, uh, why don't we leave them to do their thing and we'll do ours? Got it all! Matthew, put your eyes back in. At last. Can we get going now? I want breakfast first. We're never going to get moving up this road. There's six of us on this boat. All those in favour? Carried. 
Matthews, give us a hand, will you? Here, before I forget. Oh, thanks. Do me a favour. Tell Mary I got them for you. She thinks I'm going to try and come on to her. Honey? Well, it's more complicated than that. Why? Well, she's my ex for a start. <laughs> Is there anyone on this boat that hasn't been out with everyone else? Well, me and Simon don't have a history if that's what you're getting at. Mm. I think you and Mary would make a lovely couple. Why do you spell? Long story. Mm. Mm. Didn't you think? You know where to come. Oh. <laughs> right then, ready? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Chris, can I ask you something personal? Depends what it is. This gay thing. I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but if you fancy some bloke, how do you know? I mean, most blokes would turn around and smack you on if you tried chatting him up. You just know. Yeah, but how? Is there some code or something? It's in the eyes. Don't worry. Go straight. Well, what? Hello. They said they'd keep their eyes open. But they get a lot of people coming through this time now. Well, what if Nikki got it wrong? She could be in Scotland for a wee now. Well, this is the best league we've got. She'll shut up and finish your pint. I should have talked to Simon before he came. What's he know about it? His mates were Tony, isn't he? They used to live together. What? You mean Tony's... I know he used to be. But he can't be. He's with Teresa. Swings both ways, doesn't he? Well, Teresa knows about this. Calm down, will you? It doesn't make any difference. What do you mean it doesn't make a difference? You should have told me before. Why? Because this time I would have stopped them. We wouldn't be in this mess. Oh, give me strength. Just want a beer? Well, not for me. Don't want to be drunk at the wheel of a boat, do you? Maybe we'll hit a bank and all end up with nasty ball rash injuries. I'll save my drink until tonight if that's OK with you. Sorry, I'm just putting your leg relaxed. It's only. I want to try and enjoy this weekend. So do I. All right. Sorry, Dolly only one who's got a problem. Trey's and Chris are both coming back. And you? I just want to relax, get a bit of a tan, go back to work Monday morning. That's not really what I hoped it would be. You wanted a bit of peace and quiet with Chris, didn't you? That was the idea. Look, we'll keep out of your way as much as possible. Thanks. And if you do want to get him alone, why don't the pair of you go off for a walk? Do a bit of sightseeing. Don't look like the others will be interested in that sort of thing. Yeah, be able to ask Jesse. Where are you from? Walford. Never heard of that. What do I do? It's a dump. So where are you headed? Oh, uh, we've just seen the sights. Oh, the best pub today, that one. Yeah, the Windy Miller, about two minutes. Thanks for the tip, mate. We'll be in there about eight o'clock if you fancy a drink. Oh, uh, thanks, but we want to keep moving. We might come back later on, though, if there's nothing better up ahead. See you. Well, we'll be back then. <laughs> Who are those losers? They're all right. What do you reckon? Should we go? Fine by me. <laughs> Here, what about those three blokes on a boat together? Straight. Are you sure? Sorry. Why didn't you tell me about Tony? I thought I'd give her the benefit of the doubt. Treat her like an adult for a change. And look where it's getting her. She's more clued up than you think. But she shouldn't be. She's just a kid, Beppe. It ain't right. You mean it ain't right because she's our sister? Well, I don't want to be here any more than you do. I've got three days off that I'm supposed to be spending with my son. Then go home. I'll do this on my own. Just try and remember what's important here, will you? None are sick. We need to find Teresa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, Teresa, turn. Give us a smile. Big smile. One last big one, big smile. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Why don't we go for a walk? Oh, I don't think Therese will be up for that. I meant you and me. I don't think they'll miss us for a few hours. Oh, Matt! <laughs> you idiot! Well, you should have died for him. Oh, yeah, right. Go and get it. I'm not going in there. Well, somebody's got to. Therese and I wanted a game after you. Can't play football. Is that a challenge? Easy, Chris. It was an accident. You're right. Yeah, you all live. Well, let's have a look. It's meant to be a kickabout. Oh. Right. Don't worry about it. Uh, I didn't mean to hurt him. Danny's a grown man. He can look after himself. Has Simon got some sort of problem with us being here? No, of course not. Well, what about you? I don't get jealous, if that's what you mean. Everyone does. No? I mean, Simon have an open relationship. See other people if you want to. And you sleep with them? Sometimes. Don't look surprised. Suits us both. I couldn't live like that, and neither could Tony. Yeah, well, we really don't know what rules Tony plays by, do we? One minute is one thing, next is something else. Oh. Are you sure about this? It's safe! I told you we wouldn't get a and b this time of year. And what about these? Those are spare ones. Well, you're the boy scout, I suppose. Which side do you want? I normally sleep on the left when I got company. Well, that's weird. So do I. Uh huh. I'll have to toss for it. All right. Tails. Bad luck. You get a woman's side. Just keep your hands to yourself, yeah? So, what's the plan of action for tonight then? Search all the boozers? I could go along with that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what'd you say? We're going out in a minute. Oh, come on, we can meet them there. Oh, what's with you today? You're like a dog on heat. Must be the weather. I'm not just trying to prove yourself, then. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Let's just see if you can control your animal urges for a few more hours. Maybe we can sneak away early. Yeah, we'll see. Why didn't you tell me about Chris and Simon? What about them? Oh, this open relationship they have. Chris says they see other people. Yeah, Simon told me, um... What they got to is none of our business. Started already? Haven't stopped all day, have we? Enjoying yourselves? Loving every minute. Sure mates would be kicking themselves if they knew what they were missing. What mates? The ones are cancelled. Simon was pretty desperate to fill the faces. Is that what he said? Yeah, why? No reason. The other's not ready yet. No, they catch us up later. Come on, I want another drink. something wrong? You tell me, have you? You're not making any sense. Well, back on the boat, you were really looking forward to tonight. What's happened? What did you tell Mary and that lot about Ali? Nothing. You told them that you cancelled, that you let us down. Well, does it matter what I told them? Yeah, but I'm the one that had to tell him he couldn't come. And why was that so all your mates were coming in? <sighs> Look, we've been through this. It's not my fault. Yeah, but it suited you just fine, didn't it? Admit it, Simon. You went out of your way to make sure Ali couldn't come on the trip. I didn't. You've been jealous, like you always are. You should be flattered. At least it shows I have feelings for you. Sometimes it'd be nice to know it's mutual. I guess it's not me. Oh, 
I think that's about the best we're going to do in here tonight. We're supposed to be looking for Teresa. Still, a few female faces wouldn't go amiss, would they? I tell you what, we could do with Raymond when we be out about. I thought Louise was holding out on you. For now, yeah, but you take her somewhere like this, you're talking a different story. <laughs> take her out of Wolford, show her a bit of scenery, a bit of romance. Yeah, you're kidding yourself, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm in the company of the master, the man that bedded Tiffany Mitchell. You still ain't told me all the gory details. I'll leave it out. You never used to be this secretive. And this is different. Look, we know we're near the square. No one's going to overhear us. Come on, tell me. Have it to babble, what was you like? Just drop it, will you? She's only doing it to wind me up, bro. Do you reckon? But I told her earlier I just wanted to be friends, platonic, you know? She weren't very happy. Well, it looks like she's coming to terms with it. Well, we can't exactly get it together on a boat, can we? Not with everybody walking in and out of our room. Oh, if you two want some privacy, we can always take our room. Really? Hmm. I don't think we'll need it tonight. Oh, cheers, mate. Seen anyone you like? Sorry? Are you going to stick with Simon tonight? Teresa, seeing someone else is one thing. Rubbing each other's noses in it is something else. Well, it's your business. I just don't understand it. I know you don't approve, but it does have its benefits. Like what? It means you can be honest with one another. In theory, at least. You can't really be happy living like that. How do you know Tony's not cheating on you? Well, he's not. Well, you do know why him and Simon slept, don't you? It's because he slept around. Yeah, with women, because he's not really gay. Yeah, but he was living with a man. So what does that make him? Bisexual? Maybe. Let me tell you something about bisexuality, Teresa. Not even gay people believe it exists. Hello? George? Is that what you want? Well, let me ask the others see who's interested. No worries. Give me your money, I'll go get them. I ain't stupid. You bring us the ease first. I've got a pal. Are we still on the boat? We're in a pub, mate. Why is everything still moving? That Eddie bloke reckons he can score us some ease. Who's interested? It's a bit pointless taking them here, isn't it? Oh, we can get a cab into town, find a club. Well, it sounds good to me. Yeah, well, count me out. It's stupid and illegal. You're lost, Tony? Oh, I don't know. Come on, don't be an old git. Yeah, go on, then. <laughs> Give us your money. Ten or each. You will come to the club, won't you? But what's the point? You'll all be loved up and I'll be sitting in the corner. It's your choice. Oh, you're going with him then? Alright, that's why I shouldn't be here. Matthew, give us 20 quid. Oh. I want to buy you and Mary a present. <laughs> well, how's it a present? Oh, I'm paying for it. Trust me, you'll thank me for it. Oh, how much? 20 quid. What did he want? Something you didn't want to worry Mum about, but he thought we should know. Well, according to George, Tony has a history of dealing. He used to try and sell him at George's club. He's a dealer, selling drugs. Him and a mate called Dan Zapieri. Well, there's only one thing for it, then. We go to the police. No. Why not? Because I said so. And what's your great idea, then? I'm going to get the number of a cab firm, trial the pubs we can. And that's your big plan, is it? It's all we can do. the boat. He can't. Let him. I promised Matthew our room tonight, by the way. So we're in the living room. What'd you do that for? You wanted a bit of privacy with Mary. Oh, great. Come with us. Look, you know how I feel about drugs. If you want to go and get off your faces, that's fine, but just leave me out of it. We won't go then, will we, Chris? Simon's our holiday too. You can't plan our fun for us. What'd you say that for? He can do what he wants. You're not even going to go after him, are you? Simon! What do you want? Come back to the pub, eh? Why? What I'm doing there is spoiling everybody's fun. That's not true. Look, do yourself a favour, Tony. 
Go back and check on your girlfriend, make sure she's all right. I'm not going to leave you on your own. Why? What do you care? You know why I care. Come on, you're coming in town with the rest of us or what? Yeah, we'll catch you up. Your name's Teresa DeMarco. Pretty girl. You're the boyfriend, are you? Rather. But this ain't just a family dispute. I'll put the word out. If we see anything. Is that all? What else do you expect us to do? Look, I'm worried about her. She's with a couple of guys. Drug pushers. Is that right? I just don't think he's right for you. The way he was treating you in the pub tonight. You yeah, have been treated worse than that before. Howard. Actually, I was talking about you, Tony. Chris may be a lot of things, but he ain't a liar. This would be the open relationship you two have, wouldn't it? That's none of your business. And that suits you, does it? Both of you being able to see other people? Yeah, it does. You're so full of it. I know you better than that. Yeah, well, I'm different now. I've changed, just like you have. I haven't changed. How many times did you try and convince me that you were gay? That you were so sure of it? Or did you just say it all for my benefit? No. Well, then you're lying to Teresa, aren't you? Face facts, Tony. You're lying to one of us. Who? I'm doing something positive. They're going to help us find her. And what if they do find her? Have you thought about that? What do you mean? You mentioned the drugs, didn't you? That's why they're going to help, because she's with a couple of dealers. So? So? What if they find the drugs on her? They ain't going to find drugs on her. She don't take drugs. Oh, you don't know her at all, do you? Pleasure doing business with her. Are we uh, going to go to this cup, then? Well, Simon and his boyfriend probably won't come, but the rest of us will. Jesus, Same again. I think she's had enough. I haven't. I think the lady knows her own limits. Well, I don't think she does. I want a body please. You don't know anything about me, Teresa. So tell me, do you love her? That's my business. Yeah, well, you were quick enough to criticise me and Chris. I don't think you do. Oh, and what makes you say that? Well, I've been watching you with her all day, and... Well, there's something not quite right. Well, not from you. It's like you're forcing it. It's not easy for me to act naturally with her when I know you're somewhere in the background. What's that? Well, you've got brain, so I figure out for yourself, eh? You still think about me, then? <sighs> Can't even say it, can you? What's the point? I want to know how you feel. Not together anymore. Wouldn't make any difference. Wouldn't it? I miss you. It wasn't so hard, was it? I hate being this close to you, but not being with you. I hate seeing you with someone else. You're jealous. I am. Why didn't you tell me of this before? You could have said all this months ago. You hated me. I still would have taken you back. Even after everything you did. I still would. Next on Drama, we're back in Albert Square with more classic EastEnders. <laughs>